సాధ్యం సులభం సుదుర్లభం ప్లవం సుకల్పం గురుకర్ణధారం మయానుకూలేన నవస్సు తిరితం మాన్ భవాత్మహాన్ బాడీ is dullavam reality of ten rabu and it is a very good boat like a very good boat to cross over this material ocean of nations but an export navigator or boatman is required to be placed in this boat who will catch all the steering while crossing over the ocean some favor wind is required and that is Krishna Krupa, mercy of Krishna. So, if someone gets all these things, he can very easily cross over this material ocean of nations. If someone, upon obtaining such a nice body a human body it doesn't endure to cross over this metal ocean of nations is considered to be committing suicide of the soul or self atman khati Srimad Bhagavatam don't kind of say so. Therefore, a Sadguru, a bona fide spiritual master, is needed and accept mantra and initiation from him is also needed. హరిభక్తి సనాతన గోస్వామి శేష్ అవైష్ణవోపదిష్టీన మంత్రేణ నిరయం వ్రజేత్ పునస్త విధి నా సమ్యగ్రాహేత్ వైష్ణవాత్ గురో దిస్ మీన్స్ వన్ సున్ నాట్ టేక్ మంత్ర ఫ్రమ్ యా వైష్ణవ్ Who is your Vishnu? That one should know. A Vishnu means who is not a devotee of Krishna and who is very much a task to wife or woman. A task to woman and who has connection to with such persons who are attached to me, Sri Shangi, Sri Shangi. If someone accepts such a, a Vaishnava Guru and takes mantra from him, he should go to hell, Nirayam Vajit. Therefore, Shastra says, one should take mantra of bona fide Vaishnava Guru. Then next question arises. One accepts such a bona fide Vaishnava Guru and takes mantra from him. But how to chant mantra? 
disciples or gives in other words gives mantra to disciples he speaks all about it about the nama paradas to someone chants nam prinam endlessly he get krishna prem the love of krishna and thereby you get krishna nira parad nam loy le pai krishna prem Mm. Also, Avinna Pangnamo Namino, the name of Krishna and Krishna are non-different. When Guru, Bona Fight Guru, the pure devotee of Krishna, gives Hari Nam. to the disciple darbai he gives krishna because name of krishna and krishna are non different that is the supreme perfection of human life to get krishna and darbai you will get krishna if you accept if someone accepts the bona fide vaishnav guru spiritual master and gets mantra from him hari naam from him and according to his instruction following the rules and regulations very strictly chant hari naam it is sure the disciple or the devotee will get krishna that krishna prem that why get this definitely now i'll speak about nama prab there are 10 types of nama prab 10 nama prab number 1 is sadhu ninda blaspheming a sadhu the number 1 nama prab Then who is a sadhu? One should know. The simple definition of a sadhu is Krishna ka saranam bhakta sadhu. That means who is completely surrendered at the lotus feet of Krishna. He sadhu. He is a devotee, pure devotee of Krishna. Such sadhus, such devotees, they have dedicated their lives to propagate hmm, Krishna Nam and Bani, the message of Krishna. and the krishna naam throughout the world those who do like this they are sadhu or vaishnavas one should not blaspheme such vaishnavas and sadhu jahan sadhu ninda tahan nahi bhakti sthiti atay vaparadi tatha purinati that sastra says this thing mm. if there is sadhu ninda there is no question of bhakti that is a great offense therefore those who are taking initiation taking hari naam from a bona fide spiritual master they should not commit such offense 
This is number one, Nama Prat. Number two, to think the other demigods as Bhagavan, the Lord, and the name of Krishna, the form of Krishna and qualities and pastimes of Krishna are different from Krishna. If someone feels like that, that is also aparad, offense. This is second nama aparad. If someone thinks Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma as Bhagavan, that is aparad. If someone chants name of Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma, and says this is as good as chanting Krishna Nam, that is Abra. Those who are atheists, they sometimes think these demigods are Bhagavan. But the devotee, Krishna Bhakta, very well knows that. This is a para, a fence. A demigod may be very, very powerful. However powerful a demigod may be, he can never be Bhagavan or same as Bhagavan or equal with Bhagavan. Anna Deva Saha Samo Vishnu ki ze mani से बड़ अज्ञान ईश तत्व ना ही जाने ये जड़ जगते विष्णु परम ईश्वर गिरिशादि जत देव तार दीदी कर वासुदेव छाड़ी जाई अन्य देव भजे ईश्वर छाड़िया से संसार से मदे इससे दिन शास्त्र हम लड़ विष्णु और कृष्ण इस परमेश्वर Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, or demigods are his servants. If someone perceives the demigods thinking them as Ishwar or Bhagavan, he is committing offense, nama prat. Or if someone thinks Lord Brahma or Shiva are as good as Bhagavan, as good as Lord Vishnu, he else commits Nama Prat is number one four, ignorant four. If someone worships Bhagavan Vishnu, or Krishna, automatically all the demigods are worshipped. No need of separate worship of the demigods. Then, Nami ka sarana jayi bhakta mahaja ekishwara krishna bhaji chade anya jan. It is stated. One was completely taken shelter of Harina. He only worships Krishna. Mm. He never worships other demigods. Then question arises How will one behave towards? Demigods, shall we disregard them? This question arises. But the instruction is that Jadhartha anna deve koreno darsan kusna dasa boli tare koreno bandhan. Mayabadi gana jodhi vishnu puja kore, prasad nirmalya bhakta nahi lawe dare. 
মায়াবাদী হরি নামে অপরাধী হয় তাহার যত পূজা হরি নাই লয় সুদ ভক্ত নাম অপরাধী নাই হয় নাম করি প্রেম পায় নামে দেও
Guru is not Krishna. Krishna is absolute truth. He is one with the oxygen. He is Vishavigra Bhava. But Guru, his pure devotee, is Sarvita Bhagavan. He is Asravigra Bhava. He is not Krishna. Vishavigra Bhava. Mahabhaj is thinking like that. The Vaishnava thinks so. This is the opinion of a Vaishnava. Mm-hmm. So, those are Vaishnavas, they should be very, very careful in this respect also. Mm. Guru Teo Bhagyanjar Tara Aparat, Shaya Pradi Tara Hoya Bhakti Bhadava. Guru Krishna Vaishnava Te Samabhakti Kari, Namasraya Sudha Bhakta Shikra Jaya Tari, Guru Teo Achala Sutta Kare Jai Jano, Suddha nam bale se hi paay prema dhano. He stated in Shastra. Mm. If someone commits a prath, a fence of the lotus feet of Guru, by disregarding him, disobeying him, he will go to hell. His bhakti will be completely destroyed. So, Guru Krishna Vaishnavete Samabhakti Kari. The Guru, Krishna and Vaishnava. You understand? They are of equal level. So one should cultivate bhakti equally to Guru, Krishna and Vaishnava. One who has unflinching faith and unalloyed devotion towards Guru, a spiritual master, is a very, very fortunate person and he can chant pure name and thereby can get Krishna clean. Sadguru Rapatijayi Abhagya Achare Se papishta aparadi sarvatra sanshare. Ade prathame vishesh jatna kari sudhavakte laibena guru rupe hari. Sadguru avakya aparad bhyam ko e aparade nashtra kwe devo nara. This is the case. One should not disobey the orders of Sadguru. If someone does so, the great offender throughout the universe and must go to hell. But one should be very, very careful to accept such a Sadguru as his spiritual master. Sadguru means a pure devotee, the Lord Krishna, Sadguru. Mm. Very, very careful. Mm. You should. The Shastra says in Haribhakti Vilas, Sanatana Goswami has also said, the devotee, I mean, say that uh, aspirant disciple should test the Guru, spiritual master, for one year. Whether he is a pure devotee or not, whether he has got Krishna cent percent or not, I want cent percent Krishna. So if he is a pure devotee and got Krishna cent percent, then he can give me cent percent Krishna. I want cent percent Krishna, not fifty percent or seventy five percent or twenty five percent or like that. Mm-hmm. This is. Disciples test and similarly, Guru must test disciple whether he'll be a Pakka disciple, Saint person disciple means can such person obey me at any such all circumstances? Guru's Guru 
means you will inflict severe discipline on the disciple. Disciple means under strict discipline. This is disciple. Guru's business is to inflict discipline on disciple and disciple's business is obey it without hesitation. Obey it very gladly. Ah. Discipline may be very, very severe. Still, disciples will obey it very gladly. Then you will be a bona fide disciple. And he must get the mercy of the spiritual master, and thereby you get Krishna praying and get Krishna. Mm. Then fourth offense is Shruti Shastra Ninda. The blasphemy, Shruti Shastra, Vedic Veda and Vedic scriptures. Maya Bhatta Jive Krishna Bhav Krupakari Veda Puranadi Dira Arja Gyana Pari. Maya Bhatta Jive Nain Krishna, Shruti Gyan, Jive Re Krupaya Krishna Koila Veda Purana. It is stated. The conditioned souls, those are captured by Maya, Maya Bhatta Jeev. Mm, they have forgotten Krishna. Mm. So Krishna is very much very merciful. Mm. And therefore, he gave this Ved Puranas mm, for those conditioned souls. In those Vedas and Puranas, scriptures, Vedic scriptures, all descriptions about Krishna and devotional service. All these purposes are there. And this is the mercy of Krishna. And one should not hmm, blaspheme such Vedas and Vedic scriptures. That is offense. Nama Parat. Fifth Parat. Nami Arthavada Parat. Nami Arthavada means to think of or give different meanings of Harinam. That is Nami Arthavad and also Shastra. There are Mahatmya, sir. Nam Mahatmya. What do you say about Mahatmya? Nam Mahatmya. Huh? What is the result? The transcendental result both the result, transcendent, spiritual and material, hmm? someone may get by chanting Harina. It is all there in scriptures. If someone thinks it is imaginary, kalponic, one thinks like that he is also an offender. He commits offense. Namapra. Hmm. And someone thinks, oh, the compilers of Sashastra, the writers of Sashastra, has written like that in order to attract people towards Ariyar, Arina. Hmm. This is known as Arthabad also. Someone says like that. Things like that, he commits offense. He must go to hell. Harinam Arthavada je adhamo kare se papishto narakete pochi pochi mari. It is said. Hmm. If someone hmm, gives such meanings, different meanings, Harinam, the great offender must go to hell. <coughs> Very often we speak about Sukruti. Mm. There are three kinds of Sukruti, Karma Mukhi Sukruti, Gyan Mukhi Sukruti and Bhaktin Mukhi Sukruti. And Bhaktin Mukhi Sukruti is the best type of Sukruti. Mm. If someone 
as God's Sanskriti, Bhakti Mukhi Sanskriti is very, very fortunate. Then we will be naturally attracted towards Vaishnavas and towards this name. Those who have no Sukriti, Sasukriti, they are not interested towards Vaishnavas and towards chanting of Harina. Mm. Such a person cannot develop faith in holy name. So, he cannot get a good result or auspicious result if he chants name. One must ask for faith in name. That's the most important thing. If Someone meets such an offender who has no faith in Harina, who has some doubt in it. If someone meets such an offender, yeah, it is a very bad day to consider very, very inauspicious. Then Shastra says one must at once take bath in the Ganges. If Ganges is not there, so we must take bath in some pure water, invoking Ganges, oh, Pavitrum, Pavitrum, bath, like that, mantra. Then six offense. Namabole Papa Buddhi, committing Pap, seen the strength of Harina, that's Nam Bale Pap Buddhi. Shastra says, Guru says, Sadhu says, that hmm, the Harina or Krishna Nam destroys. All these scenes and sinful reactions. Adam mm. Mila mm. is a very good example in this respect. How he was delivered from all sinful reactions by chanting Narayana at the time of day. He had given name Narayana to his youngest son. He called his youngest son, not called Narayana, the Supreme Lord. But still, this name Narayana, name of the Lord, is so powerful that at once all the sinful reactions are destroyed. This Buddha came down there. That description is there in sixth canto Srimad Bhagavatam. But if someone thinks alight, this is a very powerful weapon I have got. I'll commit sins and then I'll chant Harinam and will be free from the reactions of sin, polite witties. Then again new sins I will commit and then again I will chant Harina and I will be free from the reactions. Such type of hmm, thinking is a prab, is a fence. One sooner too like that. Hmm. It is stated. Kintu jadi kon jano name kori bolo, achore nuton papo sezono sancholo, seke bolo kapotota koriya asroyo namo prade paas toko munti bolo. If someone thinks like that, hmm, commits new sins by strength of chanting or in arm, 
is a great offender, is a hypocrite crime. Number one hypocrite. He must go to hell and suffer there thousands of lives. And one very good important, means very, very important question is there. Those who are accepting Naam, Harinam, from bona fide guru, they should be very, very careful not to commit such offense. They will never commit any sinful sin or do any sinful activity. What to speak of committing sin or doing sinful activity? If they will think of sins, committing sins in their mind, those were namasrais, those were accepted nam, initiated by a bona fide spiritual master. Mm. They also thereby commit namatra, this namatra. Mm. Samsari manava jeva achuroi pa prashchito acheta ar unta. Kintu nama bole jati pape kore moti prashchito naita ar bole itrugati. Bhujama jato nadi pahe leo ta se aparat hoi te na hai unta. Pape moti matre hoi erup jantrona papa chare jato dosa taro ki gonona. Shastra says so. Hmm. One was a conditioned soul, Sansari man of worldly man. If he commits some sin, then there is prasthit for him, adornment for him. But Namagore jodi pape kore moti, prasthit on aintar bodo But someone commits such sin, that strength of chanting, harinam, or things of sin in his mind, there is no atonement. He must go to hell. Uh, still he will not be delivered. He cannot be liberated. If someone thinks it, that means say, Nana Swayi, one who has taken Harinam, accepted Harinam, from a bona fide spiritual master, thinks some, some of sins. In his mind, he commits offense and he must go to hell by mere thinking and what to speak of committing or doing sinful activity. That is say, then seventh Nama Prabhu. Sadhaina Jane Nama Pudis Pradhan. Sadha, Sadhya Vishwasa Kohe, Sudhuda Nishar. Krishna Bhakti Kaila Sarva Karma Kutaha. Sadha means unfaith or belief. Hmm? In name, in Harina, in Guru, in Sastra, in Krishna. That is Sadha. You understand? And a person who has no such Sadha, no such belief, hmm? he should not be initiated. He should not be given this name. If someone does so, he commits a great sin. That is a great apparat, offense. Hmm. This is seventh apparat. Sadha hina jane artha lobhe nama diya naro kete jaya nama paradhi mojya. It is for Guru, one who gives name. Such a person who has no sattva, no belief, and a in Harina, hmm? that Guru will go to hell, definitely. Hmm? If thereby he comes Nama Prat, hmm? if by getting money, hmm? Some person come, alight, I'll give you 
टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज और ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड और वन लाख रुपीज लाइक डाइट तो गुरुदेव की मीने डेवलप ग्रीक ऑफ मनी एंड गिफ्ट नहीं हरिनाम तो सचान सबसे पर्सन दैट गुरु सुकर इज एन अफेंड मस्ट गो जैन श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु इंस्ट्रक्शन श्रद्धावान धनि करो नाम उपदेश नाम महिमा पूर्ण कर सुपदेश उच्च संकीर्तन कर श्रद्धार्थ चार सदाल भी जीव करे सदगुरु विचार सदगुरु निकट करे श्री नाम ग्रहण अनाय से पाए तब कृष्ण प्रेम चोर बेश्या सठुआ आदि पापा सप्त जनी छाड़ा पापमती दिवे श्रद्धा धनि सुश्रद्ध हिले दिवे नाम उपदेश रूपे नाम दिया तारो सर्वदेश इंस्ट्रक्शन श्रीमन चैतन महाप्रभु चैतन महाप्रभु से श्रद्धावान जन करो नाम उपदेश दो जो श्रद्धावान दो जो डेवलप फार्म फेथ नहीं नेम कृष्ण कृष्ण गुरु शास्त्र They are qualified persons. Be initiated. Get her in now. Mm. In this way, you go snob. Mm. Give name to such a bhavan person. And in this way, you uh, feel all the country. All the straight by holy name. Which is some kind of thing? Or is so dark? So dark? So dark? Or is it? 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 Thereby, Vishnu gives Radha gives help. Yeah. When the Vishnu or Vishnu Guru will see that certain person develops Radha now, some faith in the holy name, then he will initiate giving now. Otherwise, not. Should not give him now. Those who are thieves, those who are prostitutes, those who are hypocrites, those who are sinful persons, they should associate with your devotees, Vaishnavas, and first hear this name, uttering this holy name. This is transcendental sound vibration. Let that this transcendental sound vibration touch their ears, enter into their ears. Then their hearts will be purified, and gradually they will develop faithfully. The Vaishnava Guru will see and will be convinced that now the thief or prostitute or a hypocrite. developed now or bhet in for naam krishna naam hmm then he give him name or initiate or accept him as disciple not from the order then eighth aparad anna subha karma sahit hari naam ko saman mane kariba hmm that means in english If someone thinks this Hari Nam or Krishna Nam as good as other auspicious activities given or mentioned in Vedas, hmm. such type of thinking is also an offense. If someone thinks like so or someone says like that, he is a great offender. Huh? If by chance 
someone meets such a person or sees his face, so an offender's face, at once or immediately he should utter Harinam and take bath. Thereby he will be eligible, especially. You cannot perform any sort of auspicious activity. Harar nam, harar nam, harar nam eva, kevalam, kalau nasti eva, nasti eva, nasti eva, vatiran natha, upanishad, veda, sayasva. In Kali Yuga there is no other way, no other way, no other way, three times. Harar nam eva, kevalam, only harinam, accept harinam, take shelter of harinam. And this is the most auspicious activity. Hmm. You cannot perform any auspicious activity in this Kali Yuga. It's only Harinam. Therefore, this Harinam is Yuga Parma, this Kali Yuga. Hmm. Then, ninth Apra, Nama Grahana Vishay Onobodhana. While chanting name with your beads, don't be inattentive. There should not be oscillation of mind. The name, name of Krishna and Krishna are non different. Repeatedly, Sastra says, Guru says, Sadhu says. So chanting name means to concentrate on Lord Krishna or Vishnu. This is most important. Mm. One should not be inattentive, thinking something else and then hearing it. Right. No, one should not do like that. Chant nicely and concentrate on Lord Vishnu or Krishna and God. In the initial stage, you cannot concentrate on the form. So, concentrate on the sound vibration, transcendental sound vibration. Or, oh. come to the temple, look at the deities, deities of Krishna, Vishnu, or Mahaprabhu, and then chant before the deities. Thereby you will concentrate. Our chant in the assembly of Vaishnavas, sadhus. Mm. These are the instructions for the initial, in the initial stage, initial the chanters, those who are in the initial stage, those who are not developed, pray. When you develop prema and chant your name, you can see Krishna, the beautiful form of Krishna. Srinama smarile rupa aise sange sange. If you think of the name or chant name, or you know, you see the beautiful form of Krishna, definitely. If you cannot see, then it is to be understood that your heart is not purified. There are offenses. One should think, and this is the fact. Therefore, what to be done? The one should at that stage come to the temple, look at the deities and chant. Or you have some photos, pictures of Lord Krishna. So look at that picture or photo and chant. Our chant in the assembly of Vaishnavas, that should be done. In this way, gradually, you will develop faith, or gradually, your heart will be purified, and you will see the form of beautiful form of Krishna while taking name, chanting name, that name. So this is ninth aparat, nam ground vishya anabadhan, when you are chanting in the beads, 
beats given by Guru. You should concentrate form of love, Vishnu, Krishna, just Krishna. Hmm. And there are three types of inattention or this aparat. Sadhankarja udasinya or tanishtara bhava. If you are neglecting sadhan vidhi, that means this regulative principles, not calling strictly, then this offense will be committed. This is number one. Second is jaryo, if you are a lazy man, lazy fellow, hmm, then you you must commit such offense. One need not be one, soon not be lazy. So get up early in the morning, say at three thirty or four, take your bath, cold bath, come to the temple, all the devotees are assembled there, they are chanting, and then kirtan, Mangalavati, nice kirtan, dance. After that chanting, among us, in the assembly of devotees, Mm. One should do it. And sooner to lazy, lie down and bed after three thirty or four. If someone does so, he commits such offense. Then be careful, becomes oxidation of mind. Mm. Chanting Harina and thinking anything else other than Hari or Krishna. That is be careful. Mm. So, this aparat includes all these things. Mm. So, one should be very, very careful in this respect. Mm. And many people, in many devotees, will find such acceleration of mind, be careful is there. So, for those devotees, for disciples, this instruction we give, it is better on their part to chant Harinam, Vils, Brahma Muhurta, that means from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning, or in the morning, that is known as Brahma Muhurta. That is the best time. At that time, this wicked mind our fickle mind will very easily concentrate it. So, during that time, you finish your rounds as much, as many rounds you can. It's better. But uh, after that, and it, will, it will be say, say, people have already got up, from their beds, mm. so many thought vibrations are now in the atmosphere, you cannot concentrate your mind at that time. So in the noon, at 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 noon, <coughs> afternoon, very difficult to concentrate the mind and the part of a new fight. Beginner mm. and who has this be kept of such lesson of mind. So it is better on his part to get up very early in the morning, take cold bath, come to Mangalarati and chant mm. and finish as many rounds as you can between 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. At that time, mind will be very easily fixed, concentrated. Mm. That is best way. Mm. Then the rest rounds will be chanted at finishing everything in the night. Mm. Finish all your business, take your bath, become and quiet, light all, sleep, lie down, sleep, go to bed. The atmosphere again. Come, uh, finish your arms and go to 
bed. And uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj says, his mind is very wicked, Vanatumi Paradusta, very wicked mind. So, give this wicked mind uh, hundreds of beatings with shoes in early in the morning. And before going to bed, retiring to bed at night, give this wicked mind hundreds of beatings with the broom, Chanchuni Praha. That means get up early in the morning and chant Harina, Hare Krishna. That is the beating of the wicked mind, beating with shoes. Uh, hundreds of minutes you take. And before retiring to the bay, chant Harina again. Take hundreds of names. There's a pity, a wicked mind with a broomstick. That Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami says. So, this is ninth aparat. Then tenth aparat, am momo bhava aparat. Thinking or saying I and mine. Hmm. Those who say, it is very natural with all conditioned souls, thinking, I am mine, saying, I am mine. I am such and such. I am Brahman, I am Vaishnava, I am King. I am such and such. I am Nuhari. <laughs> I am Bharati, I am Indian, I am American, I am such and such, like that. I am Pandit, uh-huh, I am King, such and such, this I, mine, everything belongs to me. This is mine, tape recorder is mine, this uh, camera is mine, this house is mine, this property is mine, family is mine, my wife is wife, mine, children are mine, everything, this country is mine, everything. Nectra Paroija Taudigar says about or they move or this way. I am the monarch of all I serve. At last, I am the monarch of all I serve. This I and mine. You understand? Such type of thinking. Such type of attitude. This thing, such type of attitude is also great. Offense, nama pra. Jaum mamo, mamo bhava pra. Therefore, one should be very, very careful not to commit such sin. Mm. Everything belongs to Krishna. Amar bolite prabhu, ar kichuna. Tumi amar pita bandhu bha. Oh Lord Krishna, there is nothing mine. Everything belongs to you. You are my father, you are my friend, you are my brother. You are everything to me. This is a very nice song, sung by Vinod Thakur. Amar Valiti Pravar ki chunai. Tumi Amar Matro Pita Bandhubhar. It's a nice song, one should know it. Thereby one should get rid of such offense. This is ten offense. This is ten types of namaprat. Those who are uh, taking this harinam, in other words, hmm, accepting spiritual master and being initiated by him, should be very, very careful not to commit nama pras. They should chant your name, thereby get Krishna prem and get Krishna, make their life successful. I hope so. Hare Krishna. Yes. I think now you understand very well 
This is Nama Paradas, isn't it? So, we be very careful and cautious not to commit any type of Nama Paradas. Chant your name and get Krishna Prem, thereby get Krishna. Make your life successful. I hope so. You understand? So, I accept you as my humble disciple and hope that you will throughout your life be surrender to your Guru and Krishna and, and obey the order of the spiritual master hmm, and sooner disobey any circumstances and be a your devotee and good disciple and make your life successful, I think so. So, your spiritual name is Raghunath Bhatto Das. All right, I give this beads to you. You chant sixteen rounds at least daily and you get Krishna pray and make your life successful. And because of not to commit any offense, Namatra. Mm-hmm. Then janatel javet, all oh, right. So Janet Elizabeth will and come up, come near. So now you can understand very well the Namaparadas, isn't it? And be very careful not to commit any aparat. Chant your name, get Krishna Prem and get Krishna on thereby. Achieve the supreme perfection of life. Eh? And remain always devoted to your spiritual master, thereby Krishna. Uh-huh. And don't disobey the order of spiritual master and engage yourself throughout your life in devotional service under the guidance of bona fide spiritual master. Therefore, I accept you as my disciple and give you this name, Harinam, this beat. So your new birth and new name is, the spiritual name, initial name is Jasaswini Devi Dasi. Thank you for the nice name. Jasaswini Devi Dasi. There's another um, Mataji initiated by Prabhupada in England by the same name. Same name? Yasaswini. She's a nice devotee, very advanced nice. Mataji. That's a nice name, Jasaswini. So that name came up to me. What does it mean? She wanted to know what it meant. Jasaswini, the sister of Jasada Mata. understand? It has any meaning also? What is meaning? Why do you bother about meaning? Jasada Mata is mother of Krishna, her sister. Jasasini is a dear devotee of Krishna, that's all right. Meaning, literal meaning is, Jasa means fame. You understand? Jasasini, woman, is very famous. Jasasini. Male is Jasasini, female is Jasasini. Feminine gender. In literal meaning. We really feel indebted to you to give us so much mercy. Mm-hmm. The greatest, really the best thing that's ever happened to us. Um, we're going to Pori tomorrow for a couple of days, and I would like to know, maybe you can tell me what kind of instructions you wanted us. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can give me some instructions. We're um, going Puri? For, for two and a half days. Two and a half days. Then we'll come back here. Come back here. All right, go. 
So you'll tell us then when we come back? Mm-hmm. Come back. Talk to us about, about the type of service you wanted me to do? Where? Yeah. Well, you told me that you were going to give me some instructions after initiation. Yes, come back from Puri. We have some good vaccine. Yes. We collected. Online. Where can I put it? Uh-huh. Inside your room before we leave? Oh, you get Hey! What are you like with Druba? So, um, then I'll speak to you when I get back. Mm-hmm. I'll speak to you when you get back. Yes, when you coming back, Puri. All right. Thank you. How many days will you stay here? We're leaving tomorrow. We'll stay till Monday morning. Out to Puri, then coming back Puri. Oh, well, the thing is, I was supposed to, we were supposed to go to Bangalore to, to a hospital, like a yoga a hospital with a special diet to help us. <clears throat> but <clears throat> there's no train available till the 6th of June. 6th yeah. of June? No train, yes. But the problem is that the minimum to stay at the hospital is 20 days. And my visa expires at the end of June. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so for me to do that, I have to have extension of my visa. Mm-hmm. So first I will find out if I can do that. Mm-hmm. We're just going to try every, every way we can help our health. Mm-hmm. We're not in so much, both of us are not in so much shape to do so much. It's a little difficult. Let's see what Krishna how yeah. he helps us. Yeah, Krishna is the protector. This metal body, my Guru Mara says, the first hindrance, the path of devotional service, the metal body, so many problems, bath, death, old age, disease, so many things. My Guru Mara says, path is first hindrance. You will have spiritual body, then how nice it would have been. Middle boy. On, on one hand, we hear that the human life is durlava. Durlava, yes. And on the other hand, it's, it's a hindrance. Hindrance because of this middle body. But in this human form of life, one can have this Krishna Bhakti. And this body is meant for it. And that for it is durlava. Now the body. Even demigod's body, one cannot have this pure devotion. Demigods are also bhaktas. That devotee is, but that devotion is mixed, mixed devotion, karma mishra. But uh, only pure devotion will be obtained in human form of life. Therefore, this body is Dullavam. Demigods are aspiring for this human body. Amazing. I want to just ask you one more question, if you don't mind. Um, how, how does the spiritual master choose a spiritual name for the disciple, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, is it just Krishna, Krishna arranging? Yes. Yes, Krishna arranges. Yes. Krishna prompts. Okay. <laughs> yes. Krishna prompts. That's a lie. Hmm. Thank you very much. Sorry, Kumar. I wanted to know. Um, We've been initiated, so maybe you can give us some instructions what you'd like us to do as far as helping you. Yes. I have some ideas. Main help is this project. Main help is in this project. Prabhupada's last founded project. Yes. In 1977, he passed away. So in 1977, February 2nd, 
appearance stay for Lord Nityananda install the cornerstone here. So it was the last founded project. He has given me all the Lord Govind will stay here. You will see this project is done. And this is on my head. So twelve years has already passed. Complicated. You have um, written plans. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Maybe before I leave, I can get. Is it possible I can get some copies? Uh, our engineer is there, Patita Pavan Das. Patita Pavan Das. I don't know. I'll find out who he is. He comes every day. He's a disciple of mine. Patita Pavan Das is an engineer. He has plans. The office, construction office there. You ask him, he'll show you everything. Just to get enthused about what it needs to be done. Yes, he'll tell you everything, show you plans, everything. So, um, is it, obviously, it seems to be finance is the needed. Finance is the most <laughs> main thing. <laughs> yes. Mm. Finance is the main thing. So, this is my only request, one and all. Please uh, finance, collect lot for this project. Mm. Yes, and my Guru Maharaj has also said that thing, indicating the foreign disciples. Mm. He says, these people have problems, they can't stay here. They will come and go, but they will help you. Mm. Yes, sir. They will help you. So, accept them, be sympathetic towards them. There are many problems. Does it mean Sometimes, us? Huh? Does it mean us? Yes, he indicates in foreign Western. disciples, Western disciples. So, sometimes they may act something differently, violently or unmannerly. Uh, this is not conducive to Vaishnava Sadhachar. May, they may do like that, act like that, because they don't know all this Vaishnava Sadhachar etiquette properly. They have not been educated and not trained up. But you have to teach them, train up them. Tolerate, 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 cooperate. It's all like that. Tolerate and cooperate. So, uh, as far as specifics, you're not giving us any specifics how and where, and you're just saying we, however we do it, just collect lots of Yes. Things. You think of the means. Okay, so I have a question. <clears throat> um, I, I understand your viewpoint towards astrology. And I understand that we don't need to do astrology. But before I came here, I, I had already got my astrological chart done. That's all right. Before I came. So, because it's already done, he was going to give me information how I can, what opportunities to make money, to collect money. Can I utilize it then? And yes, I can... you may. Ask the astrologer. <laughs> <laughs> but, don't be lying. is a... The supreme authority. He can do and undo things. So it's a matter of our consciousness, really, that we're seeing is Krishna sanctioning, bending happens, is yes, ultimately Krishna. Yes. Yes. Krishna is the ultimate sanctioning authority. Hmm. Anumanta. Gita he says, Anumanta. I am the sanctioning authority. So unless Krishna sanctions, nothing can take place. So we completely depend on Krishna. We Vaishnava devotees. Completely we have taken shelter at his lotus feet. Completely surrender. So we completely depend on Krishna. This is <coughs> a devotee. The Vaishnava are a devotee should act in this way. You understand? 
No. Astrological influence is there. Planetary influence. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur was also a great astrologer. Mm. He had introduced this Vaishnava calendar in Vika. So you understand? Astrology is there because we must see what is the favorable position, favorable planetary situations. That will help. But the devotee is completely surrendered to the lotus feet of Krishna. He doesn't depend on all these things. Because Krishna can do and undo things. All the planets, they move under Krishna's control. Under Krishna's control. So, one who is completely surrendered unto the lotus foot of Krishna, he need not depend upon this. Still, those who are not completely dependent, completely surrendered, they should take care of these things. So, is, is that the only main instructions you have for us, really? Yeah. Yes. That's my main instruction is this. Help me. <laughs> this completion of this project. Do you, would, do you want me to also use some of my time for preaching? Yes, on, as you preach, how can you collect money? A voice now? Mm-hmm. If a voice now collects money, he must uh, preach Vaisnav. and motivate the people and get money from them. Otherwise, how can he collect money, voice now? Vaishnava is not a karmi. You understand? So you don't so much approve of, like I was thinking, of course, whatever you say, I was thinking of doing some preaching at the temple. Yeah. And, and then doing sanctum maybe once or twice a week, and then starting some type of business which doesn't require so much time, but where some money can come in and then I can... Yes, business, gross to do business. Because I'm, I've been... And doing business for Krishna also. Can be done. Anybody can do it. Brahmachari, Rasta, Brahman, Bhantas, Anybody can do it. Business for Krishna. Yes. Maybe you can empower me to mm-hmm. collect a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> this is now present need. There are some present need. Well, also, what I plan to do is take some of your tapes. Mm-hmm. Not proselytize, but kind of like introduce some devotees that are looking for guru to your tapes and yes. and believe them to make the decision, not force. So no force. There is no question yeah. of forcing. It's a natural attraction. Yes. Basing on love. You understand? Spontaneous attraction. No forcing is there in the spiritual field. Or even like pushing. You know, I, I don't want to like make it look like I'm trying to get them to accept you. In other words, it has to be their decision. I can introduce the tapes, let them listen, and if they have some spontaneous attraction, I can give them more. Yes, one who is uh, interested, one who is right. enthusiastic, you can tell them, preach you. That's all right. There's a great need for, cla- for your classes. It's like a fill up a vacuum in the West. There's nothing like your classes that I've heard. <laughs> um, can, I, can I ask you uh, I'm trying to understand maybe it's too much for me to try to understand about our names you had said that there are certain proper names like spiritual master gives a name for the disciple at initiation uh, I'm trying to understand how does Raghunath Bhatta fit, fit me <laughs> yes, no First principle is that we keep up the first letter of this calling. According to the name is given. You see, Bhakti Siddhanta's name, Gaur Kishore Maharaj gave, is a... Human Bhakti. Huh? 
This is a general instruction. Chant nicely, consciously. Be good devotee, pure devotee, and serve throughout your life. Don't deviate from this path. Guru and Guru. You understand? The Seprasada, the Bhagavad Prasada. If a spiritual master is pleased, then Krishna is pleased. This is the process of the pleased Krishna. If a spiritual master is displeased, Krishna is never pleased by any means. You understand? A spiritual master is everything but the disciple. Mm-hmm. That disciple so Taking all risks, please, spiritual master, what he desires, he must do according to me. That is disciples' duty. So my instruction is, you chant nice away, sixteen rounds daily, don't talk. Neglecting 
neglect in chanting, whatever may be situation in any adverse situation, we must chant sixty nouns. You understand me? And nicely up and so I say. Thereby you can get Krishna Prem, the right Krishna. You understand? And I hope you shall get Krishna and your life will be successful. Thereby make your life successful. Good devotees, good boys now. That is pleasure. That is the mind pleasure. Yes. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj says, <coughs> he was a very powerful Vaishnava. Just even of his departure from this planet, he called all his disciples. Just, they were all assembled there, all were sitting there. And Bhakti Siddhanta Goswami Maharaj said, nobody is my disciple. And nobody is my disciple. He says, what does it mean? That means, though apparently all of them are my disciples, but nobody is truly my disciple. Because nobody has accepted my discipline. He said that. All are under mental concoction. Monodharma. You understand? This is the purpose of his saying. If one devotee, one disciple, if I have made one third devotee, third disciple out of all these disciples, then I think that uh, my business as guru is uh, well done, well performed. He says, I have been successful in my business. He said like that. You understand? It is not uh, an easy task to deliver a conditioned soul from the clutches of Maya. You understand? This material world is a fort, is a prison house. It is a fort or prison house of Maya. You understand? She has imprisoned so many conditioned souls here. Uh, all were undergoing, all are undergoing miserable life. Janma to are bad, but dead, old age and disease, all the suffering from this. Huh? So, it is very, very difficult task. Huh? Huh? It is very, very difficult task to take out one condition soul from the prison house of Maya. You understand? Spiritual master has to exhort the Lord for it. Mm. He has to spend gallons and gallons of spiritual blood to take out, to deliver conscious soul from the prison house of Maya. Such a heavy mm, task to see. Mm. Then he says, all right, if I have successfully taken out one soul out of the prison house of Maya, then I'll think that my endeavor or my duty has been successfully performed. I have performed successfully. Actually, 
it is very very difficult to deliver it.